Okay, balik po tayo. All right, Brother Tony, the one question that I wanted to ask is, when living standards improve, it is more almost inevitable that the people become somewhat politicized. Has this had any kind of effect in terms of the work? How do you prevent, in effect, uh, the politicization? Kasi alam naman dito na polit uh, certain political interests uh, uh, have gone around this country trying to rubble rouse mm -hmm. as far as the poor are concerned. Uh, how do you handle uh, or prevent, for example, a community that you are helping in developing uh, not get too politicized? Well, kasi we build our communities on values. Oh, oh. No? Kaya importante rin yan na uh, yung ano, and ang gift na binibigay natin sa mahihirap, hindi bahay, hindi lupa, kundi freedom, konsyensya. Oh, oh. No? Kaya nga, ang, ang, ano, ang pagtatatag ng isang komunidad, hindi lamang sa infrastruktura, eh, kundi sa mga behavior, sa mga values nila. Oh, oh. So tulad yan, when I was in Bacolod two months ago, no, eh, eleksyon na. So sabi oh. ko sa yung isang tumatakbo ngayon, eh, isang volunteer din namin for mayor, sabi oh. ko, uh, kailangan yung magkalaban ay eh, pwedeng pumunta sa mga gawad kailang community at ang ating mga mga nag Tabi mo nag, nag, nag yes ang nag mga caretakers nagmamani sa community kailangan wala silang kinakampihan uh -huh. and dapat irespeto nila ang choices ng mga mahihirap at turuan natin ang ating mga kapatid huwag ibentang boto huwag mag uh, wag mag ano wag uh, wag uh, for them na to cheat no so the same thing din dito sa Bulacan no kay bigan mo yung yung mayor ang kanyang kalaban maging kaibigan mo rin kasi wala kang kinakampihan hmm. so we have to really protect the community no for being manipulated by by ano by by community leaders then na who have political interest kasi pinagkikita ng politika dito eh paano mo how, i mean when you when you build a community brother Tony all right tinetap mo nagtayo kayo ng sandaang bahay tinuruan niyo mga tao paano mabuhay na, na, naiiwan ba ang presensya niyo roon o it, tapos na, after a while binibitawan na ninyo at bahala na sila sa sarili nila? We have caretaker teams that remain with the community. Kasi with the, among the among residents? Them, pero oh. after a while, makikita mo marami pala mahirap, mas matalino pa doon sa nag-aalaga sa kanila. Kasi may mayroong ano you have to discover the genius of the poor. Mayroong oh. marami sa kanila may be unschooled. Pero ang taas din ng kanilang talino at oh. may mga pangarap din, very solid values din kasi Natural ata, bigay talaga ng Diyos sa atin na kung magulang ka, mahalin mo yung anak mo. Uh -oh. Kahit na sabihin mo, hindi ka masyadong, uh, hindi ka nagiging abogado, pero maraming namang anes na, hindi, na high school graduate kisa sa abogado eh. Ang, ang problema lang kasi dyan, ang kahirapan, the, the issue of survival on a day-to-day -day basis, eh nakakapagpakitid ng pananaw eh. Hmm. At nagpapababaw. Hindi lang kumikitid, hindi bumababaw. So, ang hinahabol natin ngayon, gawin lang yung kailangan kong gawin para makaraos ako sa araw na ito. Hindi natin naisip yung kinabukasan para maoy, bahala na yung kinabukasan. No, that, that's why we have to understand also the problem uh -oh. of poverty is behavioral, no? Uh -oh. no kaya it, is, uh, it has an economic consequence. Kaya ang inaano natin, you know, we follow the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Bigyan mo ng lupa, bahay, kasi kung squatter yan, is always under the influence of, the, of, of politics kasi uh -oh. i-demolish ko yung bahay mo. So, bigyan oh. mo siya ng sekuridad, bigyan mo rin siya ngayon ng, ng pride, at bigyan mo rin siya ng community spirit, no? bibigyan mo rin siya ng, ano, ng edukasyon para sa mga anak niya, bigyan mo siya ng pangarap. Hmm. Yung paalagaan niya yun, yung, yung ano, may stake siya dyan eh. No? Ah. So, so ang mangyayari din oh. dito, brother, eh, no, na ang development, oh. tulad yan, ang anak natin, oh. it took uh, them 21 years to, go to, uh, to school. finish school. So, ang mahirap kaya na hindi natin pinaaral, do you think na na uh, pupunta ka lang, bigyan mo lang ng bahay o, o magbigay ka lang ng training, eh, magiging ano na. Uh, pero ito masasabi ko, marami akong nakikita no, na pantay ang pagkatao na mahirap, pantay mayaman. Marami akong nakikita na mga matitinong tao sa pin na dating pinakamahirap dahil wala lang hustisya at ma wala, lang sig wala lang sigurong pagkakataon. Pero ito, this is one thing I can say. Many of our Gawad Kalinga communities are safer than the subdivisions of the rich. Okay. So and I, I think that when, once the moment you awaken community spirit, talagang maraming konsekwensya yan sa pagbabago para sa kabutihan ng mga naninirahan doon sa komunidad na yun. No? 
and this is why I guess the next challenge to you is how do you sustain, how do you maintain, how do you further improve? No, well, we started out, that's why oh. when we started out with charity, oh. we started with philanthropy because we are driven by compassion. Oh. Tinuring natin silang kapatid. Oh. At pero yung mga mahihirap, dahil sa ating kapabayaan, pinagapang natin parang hayop. Oh. Ngayon, kaya nga we are restoring their humanity of people we treated like animals. Kasi pinatira natin sa kulungan ng hayop, kaya nag-iisip ko minsan na parang hayop. So ito ngayon, Re Brad Ray, pag ginawa mo siyang tao, then he will discover his divinity. Dahil, dahil ang Diyos, ang divine, became human. The question I want to ask you is some people who maybe are not, not, that do not come from the poor communities might object and say, hindi ko naman sila pinatira dun sa na parang hayop. Pinili nila yun eh. No, uh, In other I, words, ginusto nila. Wala naman nagsabi sa kanilang tumira sa remo sa squatter area. Pero yung mga ganong pananaw, uh -oh. sila kailan i-educate din eh. Uh -oh. Kaya nga kailangan, ma, hindi naman dahil mayaman o dahil nakapag-aral uh -oh. na sila ay makatarungan o kaya uh -oh. tama ang kanilang pananaw. Kasi ang sanhi naman ng kahirapan, hindi mahirap eh. Kundi yung mga pinaka-edukado na hindi ginamit ang kapangyarihan, ang kanilang kayamanan para baguhin ang bigyan ng pagkakataon ang lahat. So because uh -huh. we accumulate wealth only for ourselves and we also uh, uh, accumulate power not to serve but also to just, uh, you know, for our own uh, self-interest. So there is so much that we need to transform in this country, but the people that we need to transform are not the poor themselves because many of them are just victims. Well, this, this is the, the, the problem that I was talking about. Because, for example, you come across statements like, well, charity begins at home. Mm. In other words, Ang unang pagkaka ang kalingan na unang ibibigay ko sa aking pamilya at sa aking mga anak bago ko bago ko asikasuhin yung iba. Now, uh, and, and uh, would, 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 would that be considered necessarily uh, well, bad thinking? No, this is the thing. Kung tinatawag natin ng sarili nating oh. Kristiyano, hindi ba sinabi ni ni Kristo na kung sino nagmamahal sa akin, no, ay aking pamilya? So, ang problema natin, if you just treat the poor as objects of charity, bibigyan natin ng limos. But if we treat the poor as family, as our brothers and sisters, uh -huh. and then sinabi sa, na mahalin natin, ay invest natin yung ating kayamanan, ang oras sa kanila. At ito pang tingnan natin, if we, ca if we perpetuate poverty here, ano naman ang honor natin para sa ating mga anak? At uh, ito, uh -huh. and the poor uh -huh. can become threats to our own children if we neglect them. Alam mo, Brother Ton, naniniwala ko sa sinasabi mo, no? Ang inaano ko lang dito, what I think you have so uniquely provided was the instrument that became or be, has become now available to so many in which to channel uh, whatever assistance they might want to give to the poor. The biggest problem, I think, one of the biggest problems, of course, has always been, ako yung nagtatrabaho ko buong araw, asawa ko nagtatrabaho ko, mga anak ko nag-aaral, kailan pa ako magkakaroon ng panahon para gawin ito? Maybe I'm just too busy. And if there is a, 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 an institution or an organization or a movement like yours that manifests the integrity and the efficiency uh, and the high-mindedness and the love of Christ, na doon ko na lang ibibigay because they can better do it as a group rather than me on my own, no? Unless you want everybody well, else to put up another gawad kalinga no, uh, is, organization. Ang, uh, I think merong mga gusto talaga na na personally get involved. Uh -oh. uh, tulad yan, sa pagtatayo lang ng bahay o pagtatayo ng hanap buhay, pwede naman na pag binigay nila sa gawad kalinga, gagawin namin ng tama and will be accountable for it. Uh -oh. Pero kung gusto nila na sila mismo ang tatayo, mas gusto namin yun. Uh -oh. In other words, if they will personally give a little yes, time. Yes, because ang nangyayari din, na ipakita na natin na kaya eh. uh -oh. And that's why we are now uh, growing so fast, simply not because na kami ang gagawa ng lahat yan. But we have just shown people it can be done, and they can even do it better. Does that not create an, a, a, a very difficult management and supervision and control situation for you? I don't, I'm not here to control. I'm here to empower. I'm uh -huh. here to inspire people. Because uh -huh. you have to unleash the greatness of the human spirit. Uh -huh. No, because Je Jesus was about freedom. Uh -huh. Jesus was not here to control us. He uh -huh. was here to set us free. No, but el 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 some people will say, but there are issues of efficiency. There are issues of... Uh, finding a, a, a particular method by which you do eh, things. Marami namang efficient, hindi naman nakabuild ng gawad kalinga. Uh -oh. <laughs> kasi, <laughs> kasi ang importante dito, uh -oh. na kailangan dito, you have to have a very clear purpose. Na, and that, ang ano mo rito is to, you, have, you cannot do it alone. 
you have yeah, to do but it. But I do. I have to correct you on that one because you showed you could do it. Well, one person gave uh, he gave the idea, the impetus, yes. and see how far you've taken it. No, I, I'm here I, from the very start up to now. I haven't changed. Uh, no, it's not uh, no, that no, you've no, changed. No, 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 no. I haven't changed. My oh. role has always been to show people that they can do it. Precisely. No, but, but we have to have faith. Oh, but and that what, that's precisely what I'm saying. Your great, one, of your, one of the most wonderful examples that you have shown to this nation is the can-do yes. attitude. Yeah, In other no. words, whether you call it motivated by faith or whatever might be the motivation, all I'm but saying is it shows that an individual well-motivated uh, and properly uh, acting in faith can accomplish well beyond what he might expect or dream. Well, this is about uh, Brother Ray. Uh -oh. This is about leadership. No? Uh -oh. uh, kasi ang, uh, no, people respond to vision. No? And then when, I, when we articulated that together we can end poverty, then sabi ng mga rami, gusto ko yan. Paano mm -hmm. makatulong? But pangalawa, leadership also is uh, not only about visionary leadership, it is also transformative leadership. May pagbabago. Ang pangatlo dito, yung moral leadership kasi is about trust. Eh. No, kasi sa akin lang dito na you are, I'm not doing this because I have uh, I have also an agenda uh -huh. no, for power or for money. Now, the no, hindi ka papasok sa mundo ng politika. Kahit ang, ang inaano ko lang dito. Kasi lang ka, but, No, but I work with them. Uh -huh. I work with, ev with, with mayors, with governors, with the president. But that's because you don't judge people. Because I don't judge people, uh, I connect diba? with the good in people. Uh, no, so I'm not here to say na, ang sa akin lang dito, that we can do a lot of good together. Kasi, yeah. lahat si Christ, wala naman dito yung nasyang, yung perfectong tao eh. That's uh, why uh, si Christo here, no, uh, he worked with sinners, he worked with tax collectors, he worked with, with the, ano, with prostitutes, no, because, Ang sa atin, wala namang taong pinang, na, na pinanganak na masama eh. No, alam, I, I think one of the problems that you will encounter is that, for example, in the corporate world, there are some people who may be probably emotionally dysfunctional but are control freaks. Ah? They, 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 their objectives may be good, their motivations may be good, but their method by which they handle people is by controlling them. And they want to have a very well organized and rules and regulations well established in order to do the activity. But uh, that, that, does, uh, that impression does not come across no. with Gawad Kalinga. You seem to be very, retain well, somehow your flexibility. Yeah. Huh? Hindi kayo dictatorial in terms of how you do things. But that's, I think it's a great no, because no? Well, of course, uh, Brother Ray, oh. no? tama yun. Kasi it's important dahil yung integrity mo is about transparency and accountability. Oh. No? Ako naman, ang aking edukasyon, I studied uh, economics in Ateneo, uh -huh. nagtrabaho po ako sa isang korporasyon uh -huh. no, sa, sa marketing, and then I've worked with a lot of people like you, CEOs, people the most educated uh -huh. no, and the most talented Filipinos. Eh, we have a common thread eh, no, na lahat tayo may ang kintalino at galing at may mga gandang pangarap. So sa akin naman, kakreate ng platforma na lahat uh -huh. ng ating pangarap ay magsama-sama. Uh -huh. uh -huh. no? So, and I, and I do believe now that we are starting to really discover the power of solidarity. Ako, I've seen the, the miracles of solidarity. No, na yung mga rival corporations, pwede sila, they can work together. Dito sa gawain, well, ito pwede magsama. Oh, nag-umpisa kami with the Procter and Gamble Village. Na, na, tapos Unilever, nagtayo rin. Ang Colgate, nagtayo din. We work with Smart, we work with Globe. Uh -oh. no? So, what we're simply saying, we can be transcendent. Kasi yung ating pangarap to end poverty will benefit all uh -oh. no and we can and at the same time also yung yung ating kabutihan na ginagawa no is also in the heart of every person like for instance sabihin natin may mga corporate objectives yan baka nag they're promoting business of course pero yung CEO na yan tao rin eh no yeah. when i was talking at today si isang CEO kasi every year palaki ng palaki ang tulong nila sabi niya Alam mo, I'm just a steward. I'm just the, 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 the president of this company, a foreign company. Pero I'm a Filipino. Uh -huh. And I'm a human being. At naniniwala ako sa ginagawa niyo. While I have the power, I'll use it to do good. Uh -huh. no? Because I'm also, my, my company encourages me to do good because doing good makes good business sense. Mm -hmm. So again, kaya ka ngayon, we're now starting to build also a village university from building communities we have started our Farm Village University to do countryside development. 
Kasi our focus now is in agriculture. Uh -oh. Kasi we cannot do manufacturing, industrialization, yeah. unless we secure our supply chain. Yeah. No? So, and uh, we have over 12 million hectares of arable land na most of it is underproductive. And our farmers are the hardest working, but they're also the poorest. Well, you know, uh, in spite of the tremendous increase in the budget of the Department of Agriculture, I think as of the October of this year, the growth in agriculture is only 2%. No, because nga ang, ano, I mean, uh, very heroic. No, I, I work with, uh, with uh, the uh, DA, I uh -huh. work with DAR, ang gag yung uh -huh. ngayon DNR, we're also working with them. Uh -huh. Kasi ang inaano nila, they have also now to deal yung mga kakulangan in the past. Kasi ngayon, ngayon, pa, ngayon pa lang na una, yung mga iniwanan na ng mga farmers ang kanilang mga lupa para uh -huh. maging tricycle driver dahil hindi nga kumikita. Uh -huh. So, tapos, yung mas marami na, na, na nag-aaral para for jobs abroad rather than to go into agriculture. Yeah. So, kailangan baguhin muna natin yung ating mentalidad at ang ating kultura. Paradigm shifts. Paradigm shifts. And uh, like, for instance, we started uh, working with farmers. Una, providing uh -huh. irrigation to uh -huh. uh, ano yung mga mga land na are just well, rain-fed. Cool like so, tubig. when we entered the, this place in Bulacan, ang kinikita ng mga farmers is only mga 30 to 36,000 a year. That's 3,000 a month. Eh, nang tinulungan namin <laughs> sila to be able to provide uh -huh. them access to capital in four months' time, na-increase namin yung income nila to 7,400 a month. Now, ang target ko is uh, kung ang farmer kumikita ng 10 to 15,000 a month, hindi na yan maging squatter sa siyudad. So you have, to show, people, you have to show people the bottom line. Uh -oh. Pero kailangan yung graduate ng mga top universities natin, hindi na pumunta sa ibang bansa, kundi pumunta na sa Bohol, sa Bicol, because this is now the land of opportunity. But what are we going to do with all of our overseas foreign workers, the best talent here out there? No, pero ang laki rin na itulong nila sa atin. Uh -oh. no? Kasi during the time no, uh -oh. na hindi pa tayo handa sa ating ekonomiya, they kept us afloat. Kasi ang una nilang tunulungan mga kamag-anak nila. Uh -huh. So maraming mahihirap na pamilya are now the rising middle class. No, Pero they are. The, the dependence of the old W's, no. I've been saying that is the new middle class of Precisely, the Precisely, but you know, ang mga middle class natin ngayon, OFW at saka mga, mga BPO workers. Uh -huh. Pero the new, para talaga tayo talaga umaman uh, na bansa, ang new wealth creators natin should be farmers and blue-collar workers. Kaya tulad ngayon, Yung mga dating mga, mga informal settlers, scavengers ng payatas, they're now working sa mga companies na, na, na tumutulong sa gawad kalinga, like uh -huh. human nature. Uh -huh. no? Kaya ngayon, ang mga ano nila, ang, ang sweldo nila ngayon is above the minimum wage. May bahay na sila, may trabaho sila, nag-aaral yung mga anak nila. So now we're encouraging more Filipinos now to go into making our chocolate, making our coffee, making our ice cream. I, I hope that as you do and you build all of these communities, uh, 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 Katoni, and I'm sure you do, no? as these people are being helped, although they have their own sweat capital to contribute, I hope it also creates the desire for them na tulungan ako, tutulong din ako sa iba. Well, tulad niya sa Baguio, like sinabi uh -huh. ko kanina, uh -huh. na tulungan sila, no, dati, tuwing Baguio, biktima sila, eh ngayon, nasa safe sila na lugar, maayos yung tahanan nila, sila na mga yun ang tumutulong sa ibang mga biktima. No? Kasi you have to build that army uh -huh. of Filipinos who love our country and who will help our fellow men. There is another point that I think is very, very important. And I'm, 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 I'm what you have done, I think, is good for the, I, I, the poorer Filipino so that he does not think that the only source of any help is government. Exactly. In other words, you, you don't want to create a mendicant poor class who simply have this attitude na, that the, where the spirit of mendicancy is nurtured by the politicians. Eh. Well, natuha nga ako dito sa eleksyon na darating, uh -oh. may mga lugar ngayon na marami na hindi tumatakbo. Kasi nga, <laughs> hindi na daw kumikita dahil masyado na daw na-scrutinize ngayon. Yung gobyerno natin ngayon, nagset na ng high standard of honesty. So, hindi mababawi yung gagastusin sa politika. Hindi na maaaring magkampanya mas kinapapano at mamili ng boto. Mamimili ng boto. So, oh. sabi ko, we cannot uh, purge our political system overnight. But, you know, it's a generational problem. Precisely. You know, and I think many of reformers like you tried to help that. No? But it takes you know, all of us to work together. 
So like for instance, politics is not for me, but I can work with the president, I work with the vice president, I work with members of the cabinet, I can work with the mayor, I can work with the barangay. Everywhere I go, uh -oh. may, may, may ginawang struktura ang Diyos eh, uh -oh. for good order. Pati rin sa ating mga kumpanya, meron silang efficiency rin. Eh. And th that will help us kasi stewardship is important. Like for instance, the work we started was driven by the spirit. Mm. Pero we work with Ateneo, sabi nga ni Father Benebret, after the spirit, susunod yan yung system, yung structure, mm. at yung science. So, kaya ngayon dito, may sustainability. Mm -hmm. no? So, Gawad Kalinga, while well, we started with philanthropy, we're now moving towards sustainability. That's why we continue to engage big business, not to invest, not just to give us objects of make us objects of charity, but to really invest in the poor because they can create wealth. Alam mo, Katoni, there's another point that is very, very, very important to those who are, quote, in ministry or who are, want to dedicate themselves to doing good for people. You know, if God's behind the ministry, resources are not the problem. Eh. I tell you, tinan mo, ikaw kasi sobra ka na dumadating ngayon dito, and you probably have, uh, 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 your absorptive capacity is being challenged. Well, ang nangyari kasi dito, Marami yan, pero kulang pa rin. Kulang. See, we, I we have barely, so we have barely scra scratched the surface, but the fact is, we have given hope, we have given confidence to ourselves. Kasi ang challenge parati sa atin, while you give, get all of the support, then the challenge is to be more trustworthy. Yeah. No? And while we are getting global recognition, kasi this year we won the Skoll Award, no? which is, uh, ah. I guess, the, high, the most prestigious award in development, they gave us $1 million. Pero wow! ay napunta rin sa mahirap. Uh -huh. So, the more that the work is being recognized, kasi this is the work with many, the more humble we should become. Kasi right. hindi to trabaho ng isang tao eh. Alam mo, I was about to say kanina, mabuti na lang, your ego needs are very low. Well, ang... That's why hindi ka, you know, well, because other people, it goes to their head immediately kaya, eh. Uh, <laughs> uh, brother eh, hindi ako nagme-medyas. <laughs> kasi, I, kasi I want to keep my feet on the ground. Uh -oh, no? uh -oh. I have so, psoriasis. Uh -oh. no? that, that's why I, I, yung, you know, God is so good na ano dito, He dre addressed my, my vanity. <laughs> <laughs> he addressed my ego. <laughs> no? Kasi na, nakikita ko na yung the greatness of God should be proclaimed, not uh -oh. our own greatness. Uh -oh. no? uh -oh. Kasi this is God's Christ. work. And I will not be doing this if it, this is not God's work. That's uh -oh. why sinasabi nila, na well, how come wala kang burnout? Because sabi ko nga, I am not running on my own fire. I'm running on the fire of God's love. Yeah, you've entered into Christ's <laughs> rest. Well, uh, kanya, in other words, you know that it's the, it's the spirit of the Lord that is sustaining you and the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's why no problem uh -huh. can overwhelm me uh -huh. because I always trust you know, that, uh, you know that, that God will always sustain me. You know, and when people do bad things to me, I just do more good. Yeah. You know, the Lord puts it in his board. Vengeance is mine, it's just the Lord. <laughs> Somebody does wrong to you, let the Lord take yes. care of it. Ah, wala namang, you know, it's either niniwala kang buhay yan, Diyos, o hindi. Well, uh, ano ko lang ngayon dito, Brother Ray, gusto oh. ko lang ipakita sa buong mundo na hindi nagkamali ang Diyos na ginawa niya akong Pilipino at ginawa niya akong isang Kristiyano. <laughs> Kaya nga kasi two things I really honor, no, is the fact na what, you know, the great privilege of being a Filipino and being a Christian. Amen. Alam mo, naubos na naman tayo ng panahon. You know, one hour on television is such a short time. I want to thank you, Brother Tony, for being so generous and coming and sharing your thoughts and your insights and as well as all the good that you are doing for this nation. I wish that there would be at least 10,000 Tonys around, <laughs> huh? And that we have to really beseech the Lord to create more Tonys. Uh, Tony Melotos in this country because we are facing great problems, but there is always hope. And when people see you and what you are doing, they are filled with hope. Thanks again for being with us. Salamat po sa pagdala nyo sa gabing ito. I hope na siya kayo sa pag-uusap namin ni Kato ni Meloto, ang pong founder at saka namumuno po sa Gawad Kalinga at sa lahat ng mga komunidad po sa ating Pilipinas na biyayaan sa gawain ng Gawad Kalinga. Sustain, Brother Tony, in great prayer. Salamat po Thank sa inyong you. pagdalo. God bless you and we'll see you next week. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to our show, Heartbeat. Ay, salamat. marami pong uh, salamat. Marami rin yung lalaki. Ayaw rin ang divorce. And change, meaning introduction of new politics. Uh, Nalutuwa ako na... Dito, and Lingon. all that, or just katito. Ang uh, buwan ng lingon ng kanyang panunungkulan. It went from 5 pesos and 30 pesos.